Hello and welcome our viewers, you are watching WTV English News, I'm Abtihar Rukabi with the summary of the latest local developments. The media office of Prime Minister Haider Larbadi renewed his rejection of Turkish incursion into Iraq territory. Spokesman for the office Saad Al Hadithi said that the government has expressed readiness to security coordination with the neighboring countries, including Turkey, to maintain the security of border areas, stressing that the government is seeking all the means guaranteed by the international law to maintain Iraqi sovereignty and not allow bypassing them. The Parliamentary Legal Committee announced that the extension of the current Parliament session depends on the decision of the Federal Court and agreement of the three presidencies. Committee members Zana Saeed say that the current Parliament can resume its work automatically until the election in until the elections and the new date after the decision of the federal court and agreement of the three presidencies noting that the determination of the new date of the elections would be legitimate in the case of disagreement on the current results and not forming the next government within the constitutional ceiling indicated that the House of Representatives in front of a new option after the amendment of the election law and the re-election re of Parliament and integrated or the provincial elections scheduled for the end of this year. The court of Rasafa arrested for accused of crime burning the warehouses of electoral commission in Rasafa site of capital Baghdad. Spokesman of the Supreme Judicial Council, Judge Abdel Sattar Riqada, explained that accused three of police members and the other employee in the Electoral Commission. This, at the Supreme Judicial Council, warned to take the maximum penalties against anyone manipulate in the elections, in the elections documents. Member of the House of Representatives Abdel Hussein Azerjawi revealed keeping electronic devices into service in the provincial elections. Azerjawi said that the amendment of the electoral law included only parliamentary and will be working by electronic devices in upcoming elections of the provincial councils, likely to postpone the elections to the first month of the new year. The UN Special Representative to Iraq, Yan Kubish, has called for speedy investigations into all complaints of fraud and electoral irregularities. Kubish stressed in a statement that the need to take procedures to enhance the integrity of the electoral process and the legitimacy of its results in line with the Iraqi's law and constitution, and urged the Iraqi government and security forces and, elect and electoral management bodies to the importance of securing electoral materials. The leadership of, of Arafidin operations announced the launch of security operation for the inspection and disarmament in four southern provinces. Commander of Operations Major General Ali Ibrahim said that the operations command began to carry out these campaigns in the provinces of Muthanna where it has confiscated a quantity of weapons and arrest 17 wanted. Pointing out that the search campaign also included the provinces of Iqar, Wasat and Maysan. The popular mobilization managed to counter attempt of infiltrate of Daesh elements across Syrian border and distract four targets within the Syrian border. A statement issued by the mobilization media explained that the resistance forces of popular mobilizations foiled an infiltration attempt by Daesh elements across Iraqi-Syrian border. 
adding that the forces managed to deal for targets inside Syrian border, indicating that the military sectors caused material and human damage among the tourist groups. Well, that's it with this news summary WTV for tonight. Thank you for joining us.